that ship uh, listed at 45 degrees, she'd just go over this way. And every nut and bolt in that ship was just, just a rattle. And then she'd go back this way and go the other way. What are we going to do? He says, well, son, that's beyond our power. He says, do what you want. But he said, we'll call you when we need you. So we'll probably have to join the army. He says, go ahead. I think it's a couple hours later, we already had a uniform on. <laughs> I mean, while we were in Normandy, uh, it was noisy there. And you, you could hear shrapnel falling around and, and whatnot. It was pretty noisy. We've been eight weeks guarding the south coast with no ammo. I made your wooden issue of I remember our ammo dozers are shouting, get back, there's bombs on this. No, of course, they just flew, you know. The ship would be rocky. I could swear that I was almost ready to touch the water when it went one way and back the other way, just to get up into that bucket up there, 77 feet off the water. We became more conscious and concerned also about the war, and, and especially as we came to the aid and said, oh, geez, uh, if the war stays out, we'll get into the service, and it was not that we were afraid of that. Uh, there was a, a, a tragic time, really, for us all, because the, 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 the war was started, and we didn't know what to expect. Bad, every day was a bad memory period. We know, I, I kind of figured it in my mind that maybe the worst was over. Uh, it certainly was bad. There was uh, 44,000 died in the Second World War. And, uh, you know, knowing so many guys that, that didn't come back, it. Uh, it was tough. It was, uh, you know, uh, it was always on your mind, and uh, like uh, we never knew actually when it would end. You know. I spent about two weeks in the hospital, and I was given the verdict uh, anyway while I was there that they were going to amputate both legs. He seen him lined up in rows, and as I said, uh, in. Not on the beaches of Normandy, but we're not a pleasant place to see. What do you think of it? Well, you just think of it. You try to shut it out of your mind, you gotta get on with what you're doing. I don't know if you really have comprehend everything that's going on. Whether you, it's, I don't know whether you kind of wipe it out of your mind or you try not to think about it and you carry on. Well, they just love the Canadians, and they thanked us tremendously because we would go out of our way to give them extra food if we could. Canada wasn't ready for this war, but when Canada, Canadians and them got, got behind it, Canada came out right on top. I suppose one does, does feel a sense of pride. Um, but it was the thing to do, you know? Um, it was your country, I mean, you, you, just, you just did it. To be a pilot of you along with me but if we all were pilots where would the aircraft be the pilot's just the chauffeur it's his job to fly the plane we do all the fighting but we never get the fame it takes guts to be a gunner and sit out in the tail when the messer schmitz are screaming and the shells begin to hail so if we all are gunners We'll make this be our bet. We'll be the best damn gunners at the left this station yet. And he was. He 
was really good.